right at sunrise, blast a bunch of bulls. Pretty much all of them were bald. We're hiking all over the place. Figured all the elk had dropped their antlers elsewhere. Kind of right when I made those conclusions. Boom! <laughs> I don't think there's a finer sight than seeing a brown elk shed laying on a hillside. Makes your heart pound every time. I like it. A lot. <laughs> oh, sweet. Looks like a seven point. Home sweet home tonight. Back of the Tacoma. Got some nice company. Gotta get up in five hours, do it again. And when I say I gotta, I mean that I wanna. There's a big difference. <laughs> Welcome back to the vlog. It's my 18th day shed hunting this season. You can see, doing all right. Four antlers, three browns, one white. This is like the first day in about a month that I've really been able to get out and hike pretty good. About a month ago, I was at the tailgate of my truck just getting ready to go shed hunting. I was just standing there and all of a sudden, it felt like somebody jabbed a needle in my lower back and I hit the ground and I had laid there and could not move for about an hour. Long story short, I threw my back out and it's been one of the more humbling experiences physical wise that I've ever gone through. For about three days, I could hardly even move. The thought of going like hiking or even walking around the block was uh, it was just a no-go. <laughs> Fortunately, I've been going to the chiropractor a bunch. She's been working on me a lot. I'm still out of alignment, which sucks. It's kind of scary. You know, your mind wants to just go, 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 and then suddenly your, your body sends you a signal. So I guess too many years of really heavy backpacks and, and bad posture finally caught up to me. It's been a wild year this year. It's been really cold and wintry and done pretty good. And I just wanted to share a few highlights from the year so far. Having a stack of antlers it looks like that is uh very rare I'm out here shed hunting with my buddy eduardo and he just called me on the radio a little bit ago he's like you look like a porcupine i told him i was flattered and that that was the biggest compliment you could ever have as a shed hunter so <laughs> I miss you, miss you Take you off, I came in way too strong Cannot keep it low-key Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof Auto, your taste It's really a bad reception out there Where you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? Where you at? Isaac's on a roll today <laughs> question I get asked a lot is how do you find shed antlers? So it's hard to generalize exactly where you're gonna find sheds just because there's so many variations in the climate and the terrain and like every single mountain range honestly I treat it differently. But with that said here's a few tips and tactics that have helped me out. One of the most beneficial things I've found for shed hunting is to locate the bulls in the winter. Often after hunting season ends in the fall um, a lot of the bulls they'll become very visible and they'll come out on these big open windswept knobs and you can see them from the highway in a lot of spots. It gives you a really good starting place 
place come the following spring. That way you're not just aimlessly walking, you're actually walking with some sort of direction. Another tip is when you're actually out shed hunting, look for elk sign. If you find a bachelor group of bulls that's been living in an area, it's probably gonna look like a barnyard. There's gonna be elk poop all over the ground. It's probably gonna reek like elk. If you're in that type of a zone, like grid the heck out of it because there's probably an antler or five laying in there. Another tip is that if you are in the mountains looking for sheds and you find a bunch of cow elk, look higher. The bulls are often higher than the cows. Always keep your eyes like up and like scanning. Never look down at your feet. If you're looking at your feet, you're not gonna find anything unless you about trip on one. It seems like an obvious statement, but it's funny the amount of people that I've gone out with in the woods, whether you're shed hunting or even hunting, and they, they stare at the ground. And of course, every rule's meant to be broken because I just about stepped on this guy. <laughs> Little white tail shed. Some people go by the saying, no shed left behind, and I used to be that way, but nowadays if I find a really old white chalky one like this, I like to donate them to a tree. I find a crack in the tree and I'll stick him right there so that in like 20 years when it grows up, it'll be uh, grown into the tree, hopefully. When I started shed hunting, I did not have very good luck. I would average one shed per 10 miles of hiking. And those that have been out know how competitive shed hunting can be. Uh, the last tip is that I've found a lot of luck, even in areas that have been just pounded by other people, is to just hike in really weird, obscure spots. Like, hike where other people won't. Most people, they'll walk, like, right on a ridge line, but if you get, like, 20 or 30 yards off the top of the ridge line and, like, like walk on that zone, you're side hill and it's kind of crappy. I've picked a lot of sheds that way. I've also seen a lot of elk just, like, living kind of right on those edges. They don't seem to walk right across the top very often. So I hope these tips help anybody who's out there trying to find some sheds. And, uh, I mean, the biggest thing, honestly, is just, just keep hiking. There seems to be a direct payoff with the amount of miles walked for sheds found. All right, thanks for following along today. A few more days of shed hunting here, and then I'm gonna go sell my giant pile. My first big photo trip, I'm going to a little island off the coast of BC called Haida Gwaii. And we're going for blacktails, and we're gonna, like, throw crab pots and try to catch a bunch of seafood and make these epic meals. So, uh, yeah, lots of fun stuff in the works, so stay tuned. We'll see you next time. So many antlers. <laughs>